Hi friends, welcome to A Wonderful Sheep. Today, I've got a stick. Actually, I've got multiple sticks, and I am not afraid to use them as an art supply. As you saw in the video title, today I'm going to be drawing and painting with twigs and sticks. Over on Instagram, the Good Ship Illustration account posts a weekly art club via Instagram Live every Friday night UK time and last week the theme was painting with sticks. The element of searching for sticks and carving sticks made this week's art club even more fun and creative. I picked up some sticks while I was hiking and I tried to be mindful to pick up sticks that have fallen on the walking path and not go off trail to break off branches or disturb the natural environment. After I had my sticks, I just briefly looked up how to carve your own dip pens to get some ideas. And it looks like making your own bamboo dip pens is a real thing. So that's been added to my to-do list. I'm excited to try that. But I didn't get too technical with the carving. I made some fine tip pens, so to speak, and then some broad chisel tip pens. And then I left a few twigs and sticks with their natural ends. I wanted to experiment with my ink stick used for traditional Korean calligraphy. In Korean, an ink stick is called muk. And actually, calligraphy is one of the things that I'd like to learn and practice more. Learning to write Chinese characters in calligraphy would first help improve Korean vocabulary, since 70% of Korean is derived from Chinese characters. And I think it would be another cool influence on my artistic practice. You might know that many Chinese characters are pictograms, meaning the character resembles the physical object it's conveying. So it's always fun to see the explanation behind pictograms, and I think that would be interesting to study. Anyway, I made up some ink from my muck, and then I also got out my ink wells that I use for my dip pen, my actual dip pen. Now for the actual painting with sticks, it wasn't easy at first. The sticks didn't hold the ink very well, so I was constantly going back to redip. This might be because of how I carved them. I think I'm going to iterate them a bit so they hold the ink better. Also, if you've painted with sticks before, let me know if you have any tips or tricks with respect to either the sticks or the paint. Like I said, Art Club goes through several time drawings, which is great to warm up with. And painting with sticks definitely was training in letting loose and letting go because it was challenging to control the stick and hard to get the lines and strokes I wanted. I mean, it's hard enough to get what's in my brain onto the paper, but especially hard to do with sticks. I've participated in art club before. It was a self-portrait class. I didn't get to participate live because 8pm over in the UK is like 3am here in Korea. But thankfully, they saved the Instagram lives on their account.
What I appreciate about the art club is that it really allows you to explore and play. Just today I read an article that touched on the importance of play for creative learning. Research shows that rewards and pressure can motivate us to be productive and produce. But to be creative, we need space to play. And I think that's what Art Club does really well. So for most of my drawings, I did real life studies of this toy motorcycle that I got in India. And then towards the end, for one of the longer time drawings, the 10 minute one, I did a study of this traditional folk art painting of a tiger, which I'm pleased with how it turned out, especially because I took one of the sticks with a sort of round blunt end and I used that to make the tiger spots. It's also interesting to see how this tiger is portrayed with spots rather than stripes. There's also supposed to be a sparrow in the top right corner, which I didn't quite get to portraying. And then the last time drawing I did is of this planter I have in my veranda and I tried to do some more shading and coloring in with my stick brush, with my stick dip pen brush. <laughs> I hope this video inspires you to make time to just play and experiment with art, whether it's painting with sticks or brushes. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more art and stationary videos from Seoul, South Korea, and stay safe and well.